My successful coach, one I'm speaking of today, is Regis Michel. He was known as a general, but I've titled it as a forgotten general because people of this generation have forgotten what he's brought towards football. Background. Regis Michel was born on the 9th of February 1928. He was born a few streets off the Ajax Stadium where he played for, when he was a 12 year old and started his whole career for Ajax. He was a key teacher, like myself, and what stood out to me was he wasn't just a normal P teacher, he was a teacher that taught towards deaf children as well. He was predominantly as a striker and he's known as an inventor of total football. In Ajax, in his first tenure, he coached them three different occasions, but his most successful one in the first tenure, he won three successive titles and his biggest achievement, he won the European Cup. What he done with Ajax, he brought in total football, meaning he had fullbacks wanting to go overlapping, making the pitch as big as possible. Strikers, like we see nowadays, Lionel Messi, dropping, dropping into play, wanting to play football, creating play, and goalkeepers who are good with their feet, not clearing balls left, right, and centre. Goalkeepers who are like outfield players who are good with their feet and willing, wanting to play. Barcelona loved this type of football, so they were asked him that he wanted his signature, and so they signed him up. With Barcelona, he won the league and Copa del Rey. Even though he, he wasn't as successful with Barcelona as he probably wanted to be, what he brought in well, was with the Masia, the academy of Barcelona, he brought in notable youth people, and they became standard, strong, persistent players throughout their career with Barcelona. He players which Continue through his ranks like Pep Guardiola, from Croy, and so on. Netherlands. This was his most successful time in coaching. He coached them as well on three different occasions. And what really interested me about with this role, he only had three months to prepare before the World Cup. Netherlands, prior, had only been in two World Cups beforehand. So they were not favourites by any man. In, in those three months, he prepared them to go all the way down to the final against the host country, West Germany. But they were leading the game, and then within the last 20-15 minutes of the game, they lost 2-1. He still came back as a national hero, getting the second place in the World Cup final. He later on came back in his last 10 years for Netherlands, and he won the European Championship, which even up to this date, is the most successful title that they have ever achieved as a country, as you can see in this picture. Influences. He has influences the likes of Johan Cruyff, Pep Guardiola, and Arsene Wenger. In the first picture, as you can see, Johan Cruyff was one of his players that he coached. So he was one of the players that was with him when he was teaching total football. And Johan Cruyff took it to another step. Where he, just like him, he had the 4 3 3, then he took it to a 3 4 3, with fullbacks overlapping even further, strikers coming more down to deep. And that's what we see now with Pep Guardiola, with Barcelona, just like him, another player of the La Masia Academy. He brought in Messi, dropping in into play, and they played this lovely football which just took control of the world, which players like myself, fans like myself of the game, completely admire the style of play. As you can see, last year was Wenger. Wenger, as you can see in this picture here, he won the Gold Cup, Gold Premier League. The only manager in Premier League history to go undefeated in the league. And he done this with a delicious style of play, which was around the total football that mean is brought in. Notice of school accolades. He was coach of the century, 1999. That one sits up to me. And the last one, so which one? The coach here, Johan Cruyff. Both as a player and as a trainer, he said, nobody could talk me as much as him. I will miss Reyes Michel. I have always greatly admired his leadership. And this is why he was nicknamed the general. He had hard regimes where people would sometimes train five different times within the same day. He was always strict or with my way or the highway. He told players from the get-go, if you've got a problem, you can leave. And this is why I call him a general and a forgotten general. And I wish that people like myself and my generation would look into him more and inspire the next generation to play in this type of total football. So to you sir, I salute you.